you're looking at the greatest women's marathon runner in U.S. history, Joan Benoit Samuelson. Still running, still drawing crowds, and still displaying the courage it takes to seek out challenges, set goals, and not just beat them, but smash them. It was 1979 when she went from a nobody to a somebody, winning the Boston Marathon and breaking the previous record by eight full minutes. And that was just the beginning. She'd win it again in 83, and in 84 ran into the history books, winning gold in the first ever women's marathon at the Olympics. But Joan is just as much a legend for what she's done since, setting a record at the age of 50 at the U.S. Olympic trials, and at the age of 61, 40 years after that first Boston Marathon, she ran it again, and finished within 30 minutes of her original record-setting time. I don't have any secrets, I'm just passionate about what I do, and I love to run, and I love to be outdoors, and love to set goals for myself, and people can grab onto that and be inspired, then great. Today she is an inspiration, not just for what she's done, but for what she's doing now for others. I promised myself after the Olympics in 84 that I'd give back to a community and a sport that have given so much to me, and I've tried to live by that ever since. And that's because she feels she has something important in common with runners at every level. I think when you have something in your life that you're passionate about and is easy to access, uh, it just becomes part of your life and part of who you are. And, you know, passion is at the bottom of everything I do. Oh, you're supposed to be running! <laughs> not taking photos! She says her passion now is as strong as it ever was, but she has had to learn the growing importance of patience. Well, I've definitely slowed down, and I've definitely dealt with my share of injuries, and I've learned to be a bit more patient than I was in my earlier years, and patience isn't always easy, but, uh, you know, it's an attribute that's necessary if, if your heart's in the game. Everywhere she goes, she's asked about the Olympics and those great marathons of the past. And while she doesn't mind looking back, she says she mostly looks forward. Well, history is history. I mean, the future has so much to offer, I think. And uh, to be able to have the desire to set goals and to keep yourself moving forward uh, is, I think, um, necessary for everyone. There's so many different chapters in your story as to who you are. It's hard to define you. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> you know, every day is different. And I, I you know, I just, I just have passion. I try to live a balanced and full life. And, uh, you know, I, I'll rest when I'm dead, so to speak. <laughs> and that's her advice for the rest of us. Just look forward. Live each day like it's your last. You love a challenge. Is getting older a challenge? No. Life has a beginning and an end, and you know, there is no finish line right now in my life, and when it's there, it's there. Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Go, Joe!